My growing operations are doing great at the moment. I'm so close to sell my first huge pack to sell at the barn to make tons of money, rather than making chump change with the small or big pack selling them to my friends. Hey guys, it's Trice here, and let's start our Sunday off. The top left portion of my screen is that we got a ton of cannabisioso to harvest. I believe it's for every single row, so first row's good, second, third, fourth, I don't... Aw, oh, the backs aren't good yet? Well, seeing that it's a Sunday and the barn is about to open up real soon, I might as well just continue as so, just harvest everything, but harvest these a little bit later, seeing this will probably grow by tomorrow or something like that. Everything good in this row? Looks like it is. Not this one. So let's grab Mr. Basket by Cannabis Seal, so basket of 2% in here, and just click away until we get to 100% full. Until we get 100% full, please, or no? I guess not, so we'll just bring this upstairs and grind nine of these, and just go from there and repeat until we're done. So we got two to ten weed joint packs, so grind away. Boom. Start from the left to the right and repeat until we're done, and wrap this bad boy up to add another pack of the big packs downstairs. And also with the huge pack, I need to go to the barn also to buy the packager upgrade for the machine so I'll be able to package the huge joint packs and not just the big ones, which you could sell like $370 or something like that for the big joints. And the single ones is like 70 or something like that. It's a pretty small amount. All right, that's 100%. So will this work right here with the big kind of package? Yes, sir, as it goes through the conveyor belt. Boom. And let's toggle the grid mode for my PlayStation controller and line this bad boy up carefully. Whoops. There. So currently, I got 25 of the big joints that are currently in my possession. I need 27 of them to sell to the dealers just outside of town at the barn on the other side of the map. Alright, this is my 100% right here, so... Boom. Might make the boom sound like something's dropping down like this. I mean, it's going through a conveyor belt. I mean, it's a little bit unnecessary doing the stuff like that. So here we go with 27 of the big joint packs. That is enough to make the big harvest pack of this good old stuff. So see that it's open, let's get in the car and head on over to the barn and make this upgrade. So again, if you don't know, here's the lumber mill. So all the way down over here, over this bridge, is that you have to cross over. So cross over the bridge, according to the map here. It should be on the topmost portion of the map, which is called Continent, which is the other side of town. My current town was saint clin du Finfond. So go down the bridge, and I believe you just go straight for quite a while, so there should be like a dirt path to your left. Let's see if I'm correct. Okay, this appears to be the dirt path, so prepare to make this left turn, so with the brakes past this dead tree, right? Ass cheese. So I believe this is the dirt path I have to go. This might be the wrong choice of vehicle using a stock Koenig, then... ...going in first gear. Redlining in first gear. <laughs> Thank you. As I go saying, this is probably not the best vehicle to use. I probably should have used the racing Koenig, the pimped out blue race car, wannabe race car, rather than the stock Koenig, which is the one I'm driving right here. And trees, so just up ahead through these patches of trees here is the barn. I just saw it, so can I get a clearance here? I just saw it again. Yes, here is the barn. So that's where you sell the weed over to these little thingy here, this box. Well, it don't matter where we park, we have to pretty much park at the door because I gotta haul some stuff, which is mainly the harvest basket, and that's pretty much it, except for the packager upgrade, which I gotta do right here. And it should be open every single day, right? Yep, 10,000 hours, uh, 1,000 hours to 2,100 hours, whatever, every single day. So open the door and 420 plays that. And you probably know the drill with my boy, Lomi the Lit Yeet! Bah! And my boy Sebastian, just be casual, man. Dave's, uh, feels like I am auto-smoking. Ah -ha -ha. And lastly, Boopy. What it do, flight crew? FTC, flight team, stand up. But you're high on weed. That's somewhat illegal in this country in the U.S. Okay, so here is the huge packager machine that I have to buy for $25,400 and nice cents. So, no choice. Click on this. Yeah, good shit, man. The machine has been delivered to your home bunker. Yeah, and the harvest basket for seventy-eight ninety-nine. Grab this bad boy without going to grid mode, and it should be it. How much is a composter? They have ten thousand dollars in a composter. Uh, I think we're all good here. I need to sell eight huge packs a day to buy the weed rims. 
And freaking Cypress Hill hits from the bong, and I think that's it, just buy the watch uh, a composter. So, good shit, man. Again, more of my to-do list, so I do have the french fry press, that's installed, that's installed, that's installed, so I think I'm all good with these guys, so go home and do the rest of my operations. Okay, then. After going wide, we went into the frickin' ocean. I don't think I can recover from this. Uh, shut the car off, and let's see if I can get this back onto some land. If not, I gotta bring this damn- I don't know the basket will spawn at the garage, at the garage, but the gas station- Well, at first, I'll place it on the ground and grab the vehicle. I would say, I don't know if the basket will carry with me at the gas station. If not, I have to carry this bad boy, like, home, just walk on home. This is ridiculous. I kind of went a little wide at- Oh, no. I went too wide in that corner and went too fast, and I've uh, unfortunately drifted to the right, lost control, and then just kept flipping and flipping and flipping and flipping, and flipping through the mountains, flipping and flipping and flipping, until I ended up in the ocean. Because it gets me this game, you keep flipping and flipping and flipping and flipping until you're done flipping. Alright, grab the car, so... Pray to God that this will come back, and my maple syrup needs are very full too! Just drink the- drink the damn water! Come on, Crouch, drink the water! This is good enough! You don't have to drink maple syrup every freaking day, this is not like hardcore Canadaism. Or it's pretty much how people live in Canada, they don't drink water, it's just maple syrup every single day, 24-7, 365. Okay, here is the car creeping up on me. I don't think it's worth saving because look at how steep the terrain is on all sides here, so... If I were to bring this to some actual land, not on the water, this will not work whatsoever. Can I please grab my hoist thingy, please? So what if I were to just yank this up off the ground, off this steep, like, what, 60 degree, 70 degree incline? If I can keep this here and keep cranking away without buying a tow truck job for like $100 at the gas station, then great. If not, then oh well, I'll just take the, um, take the hit. I mean, it's kind of working, but you know, let's grab the harvest basket. Let's just run home with it. Let's just see how much we can go to distance because I guarantee I'm going to die because of my people's syrup needs. But I can grab the cone egg, the racing cone egg from my house, which I'll respawn in my house, unlike the hardcore saves that I always uh, also do. So my regular save here, I'll just grab the racing cone egg and pretty much end up where I'm dead. But my maple syrup needs, just pretty much grab the, the grab the basket where it's at, where I last died, bring that back home. And if this were to have been the hardcore save, then game over. Well, let's even go to Barton's house and ask for a ride back to my house. Let's see if he does so or not. Is he open on Sundays or no? Well, here's the gas station just up ahead. If this were to have been the weekday or a Saturday? I would be able to just drink the maple syrup and uh, just call a tow truck as so. So unfortunately, as we can see, nobody's inside. It's a Sunday. It's closed at the moment. And Mr. Tow Truck, the store is closed. Now get the hell out of here. Come on, man. AAA could do this 24-7, 365, no matter where you're at. Even in the friggin' rural community of Lincoln, Nebraska. Well, the outskirts of Lincoln, Nebraska. All right, here's the guy's house. Here's his car just up ahead. That little Hyundai Infinity you want to be. <clears throat> yeah, we're dead. It's over. I mean, I can respawn a normal save, but it's pretty much over no matter what. So it's best to drop the basket off here and knock on his door. Ask Barn for lift home. Yeah, dude, come on, get in the car. I'm gonna die. So hey, want to see a magic trick? Watch this. All right, dude. Yeah, yeah I died. To die to dehydration. Yeah. Idiot! Why don't you just drink the frickin' salt water in the ocean? Well, at least we spawned back in our bed with the 90 second in-game death penalty. Crap. Well, at least I got my car, I could just drive on over and pick up the bucket. The harvest basket, whatever. Oh my god, that was Martin! <laughs> Where are you going, buddy? I just <laughs> crashed the frickin' Martin head on! As I was passing through traffic, where are you, mate? There he is, right? Yeah, that's him. Uh, what's- Um, follow him and see what happens. He's gonna drop me off the home while he's smoking up a firestorm. You should probably pull over. It's not you smoking the car, it's your engine, dude. It's your engine. And also, his plate is... Weed! So what happens here? So, let's just drive on over there, he'll just stay there. What if I just dismiss him? Let's put the parking brake up and dismiss him. So what it happens if I just open up the car door and close it? So let's do this. Open. Close. He drives away. Good. Get out of here, dude. I'm dead and I'm reincarnated. I've resurrected from the dead. 
All right, Mr. Harvest Basket, as it's six o'clock, 1800 hours, get in the car, please. So, Mr. Pushkit, with the solid racing seats, we're okay at the moment. Yep, we're okay. All right, back in regular speed, the death penalty privilege just subsided, like disappeared the moment I just parked my car. So here is the big boy harvest basket. So what's it like harvesting the actual big boy plants? Okay, 2%. Now we're talking. Now we got a lot of room compared to the other basket. Yes, sir. And 83%. Okay, yes, sir. On these guys, these have been completely planted. Yes, sir. No, sir. Now we're really talking with the huge harvest basket. Now I could really be harvesting quickity click, 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 click with this guy. Rather than this empty basket. And let's do three more big packs right here. So click that. And click that. Oh, it's just timed right here. What happens here? It just bumps. And continues to bump. And almost falls over. Now we got 21 of the big packs. So let's click on the huge cannabis packer to see what will happen. Oh my. Now we are talking. Hell yeah. Now we're down to two of these boys. Yep, we're down to two. Oh, here's the electric compost box right here. Zero percent of compost box and fertilizer ready package. Just like the one in the cottage, but the small boy. Let's check that out a little bit later. But first, 200 seeds. Hello, let's start the planting, which starts right now, as I'm doing right here. All right, from 200 down to 177 seeds. Not that bad. That's what, 83 seeds? Well, let's grab the potatoes real quick. I can, I can grab the potatoes right now and make the, oh my god, um, compost right this instant. Uh, 228, yeah, let's do it right now. What would this be like putting the potatoes in here? So what happens? Do that. 228, 100% ready, so I just, I just plop like that and we're good to go. Damn, it's at 20% already, so what's the compost like? Uh, 9% ready to be packed, so this is gonna take a while for this to go. Well, let's we'll just keep on going with the composting and head on over to my maple syrup operations way over there. Alright, so I managed to produce five barrels of maple syrup, like the actual barrels itself, and I forgot to swap the barrels out earlier, so I don't have to worry about this. So let's check outside with the syrup tank with the truck here, so it looks like... I think we're full. Yeah, I think we're full. We could just go on as- so yeah, the hose is disconnected. I think we're full. Oh, uh, what the- there's another big weed joint pack just in the middle of freaking nowhere. <laughs> I'm just finding these all over the place, and we're like, there's one right there, and in the last normal save video was in the freaking lost objects bin. Like, what the hell is going on? Are they just popping out of nowhere? Did a failed shipment just explode and it just starts airdropping my property? Like, what? All right, so we're now good of our barrels. I got seven of them. I believe we got ten in total or something like that. I know I sold a few on a Friday in the last video, testing out the sugar tank in the truck. I sold all those, and now we're left off with seven to sell right now, plus whatever I, uh, goddammit anxiety, what I got in the tank. So coming up to the Maple Syrup Federation, oh, four barrels, so I got eleven in total. Okay, I thought it was ten. So it sold the barrels as so, so since we got like, what, did I say seven, I would think? We should get $1,400 of the barrels, but we got these four we got to put in the truck a show, so 1400 there. And whatever I got in the tank, like the tank my truck bed, $2,000. Not bad, so $3,400 worth of maple syrup for the day, nice. And also, I do have the huge weed joint pack on me, so I'm gonna make my way on over to the barn and sell this baby, which I believe, like I said before, it's $10,000 if you were to sell this, because I believe I looked this up recently. But first... Yeah, let's go to the decoration store and buy the planners before we actually act now on this. And this is gonna be a little bit stupid, but risky, trying to fit, uh, fit all these in the truck, but uh, you gotta do what you gotta do, yeah? Kinda like Drake with hell yeah, F and right, H-Y-F-R. Cause all his exes live in Texas like I'm George Strait. Where they go to Georgia State where tuition is handled by some random young n-word, whatever this and that. I did not mean to buy that, but whatever. I think it's pretty much a better idea to buy the trailer because we're overstacked right now. Yeah, let's, let's, let's connect the trailer real quick. Yeah, this is bouncing all over the place and I'm not a big fan of it. Let's do it right now. I tried to grab the freaking uh, outdoor planner, but it's instead it made me grab on the chair, make it be buy without confirming. It's like, hey, buy this. Okay, 
but whatever. So, Trevor, we go. Let's put all the planters in here and just haul this without running into any crazy problems, right? Yeah, we should be good to haul this. And here we are at the barn, so let's grab the huge weed joint pack, and is it $10,000 for this bad boy? Yeah, it is $10,000 to place a huge pack or 27 big packs of weed to sell here. Cool. I got one there that's part of my to-do list, so we gained $10,000 selling this big boy right there for the dealers at the barn. Alright, so I'm back home. I didn't even bother checking on my car because it was way past the freaking closing time for the gas station. So let's grab the planters as per usual, all 10 of them, and put this down to the bunker for future considerations to do all this planning, which, damn, 35%? I'll probably pretty much wait for the next batch. Alrighty, so let's eat the freaking poutine up in here, seeing that we're just about full. And let's check out the fertilizer before we go. So the fertilizer, 26% to be used. I'll pretty much wait this till it's 100% full. I mean, 74% in the box and 26 to be utilized. We'll put like a big pack of fertilizer to fill up the reservoir to 100% or what? I don't know how this would work out putting this kind of fertilizer in here. Because I think one pack of the regular stuff is like 25%, 15, I think. But anyways, let's just head to bed and end things off. So after all my blood, sweat, and tears, or time and energy, whatever you call it, I finally managed to upgrade the packager to include the huge pack upgrade to sell $10,000 worth of this stuff to the people at the barn, rather than selling the big packs or the 10 packs to people for a tiny amount of money. Now, I could better rely on doing this instead of getting a check for about $20,000 every Sunday at midnight by selling barrels of maple syrup. This is definitely going to help out in the future, so anyways, that'll do it with Mon Fazul. And for those who are interested in this type of content, please be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos like this in the future. So this is Tries Rising Up, and signing out.